Jack and all guests on Jack's World of Wildlife have been professionally trained. Please do not try anything you see on this show at home. Hey everyone, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. I have with me an enormous tarantula hawk wasp. Now, <clears throat> these are ranked as the second most painful sting of any insect in the, on the planet. Um, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do today is teach you about tarantula hawk wasps and then we are going to test out that theory of whether or not their sting is the second most painful sting ever encountered in the insect world. I do this not <clears throat> to make people afraid of this insect, um, but to show you uh, the full power and magnificence of this being. Tarantula hawk wasps have a very painful sting because their venom is designed to incapacitate large tarantulas. They're tarantula specialists, so what that means is they're specially adapted to hunting tarantulas. What they do is, as adults, uh, they are um, nectar feeders. They feed on um, nectar like a butterfly, sometimes uh, fruit juices as well. But as babies, as larvae, uh, they need protein. So what this large female tarantula hawk wasp will do is she will fly around looking for a tarantula. Sometimes she'll even use herself as bait. Um, and she will actually dance around the mouth of a tarantula burrow to get the tarantula to come out. Thinks it's going to get something to eat. And then as the tarantula tries to attack her, the fangs bounce off of her round, thick exoskeleton. And then she will sting the tarantula. The sting then paralyzes the tarantula for the rest of its life. She will then drag the tarantula to a burrow that she's made. She'll lay a single egg on it. The egg will then hatch, the larva will burrow into the tarantula, and the larva will eat the tarantula from the inside out. But the larva is very selective about which parts of the tarantula to eat. It will eat around the vital organs, so the tarantula stays alive through the entire process. Then after a couple of weeks, the larva is large enough, it will finally eat the vital organs, putting the tarantula to rest. Then it will pupate and emerge out of the tarantula's abdomen um, and fly out as a wasp. So they are quite impressive. They have huge eyes that they use for locating tarantulas and burrows, and they have a very large stinger, sometimes up to one-fourth of an inch long. So very, very fun. That's over um, half a centimeter worth of stinger. I am here with my friend Matthew Nochisaki, who has... Um, graciously decided to be the first to be stung. Again, we do this uh, for scientific reasons. Um, stings are relative. Every person reacts to stings differently. So there's no static sting science. So, you know, Justin Schmidt, who's done a lot of work um, in his book, Sting of the Wild, has gone through and ranked hymenopterans, which are ants, bees, and wasps, and has ranked the tarantula hawk wasp as the second most painful sting of those. However, he has a very different body chemistry than we have, so there's really no way to tell if that's in fact the truth. So Matthew here is going to be our first test subject. <laughs> you ready, Matthew? Ready as I'll ever be, Jackson. <laughs> that is one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come she here. got me once, but... She did? Yeah, now she's getting me again, but she didn't get me again. Here, come here, girl. See. Ah, oh, I got stung here now too. <laughs> I've already been stung. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a long sting. Okay. Okay. Is like? it fine? <laughs> it intensifies as time <laughs> goes on. But you stung me three times. <laughs> Let's see here, girl. Come on. Should we roll around and scream for no reason? Look, 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 look at that stinger. Oh, she's absolutely, look at the colors on her, too. She's absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful animal. Again, not to make people afraid, <laughs> not to make people afraid of these animals. They are powerful, they are beautiful. This does not stress them out to do this. Insects, insects and other animals. Does it hurt? It does, it, it's, um, it's very, like, it's like a blood pressure yeah, it's, it's I can't like a think right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly not as bad as I anticipated. Again, me neither. Venom is relative. It's how you react uh, to uh, different, <laughs> the makeup of the venom. Sorry. Again, 
tarantula hawk wasps are very painful. Here, Gwen. Actually, I've been stung oh. twice on the forearm Here, and Gwen. once on the head uh. now. Our, she just flew away. Well, good. Please don't let her escape. <laughs> okay. Up close, tarantula hawk wasps are stunning. Beautiful, deep, iridescent blue and bright orange. Even after multiple times of getting the tarantula hawk wasp to sting us, neither Matthew or I had any reaction whatsoever. It was very interesting, but take a look at the size of that stinger. She's absolutely stunning animal. She just pooped a little on Again, me. Again, not an animal to be afraid of. Probably some flower nectar she drank earlier today. Very, very interesting. I'll hold it. Just kidding. <laughs> Good catch, Matthew. Can I put it on my face? Oh, How sure. much would that flip the internet out? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Don't let me see in Yeah, the last thing we need Let is her to get here. agitated. <laughs> Tarantula hawk wasp on the face. On the face. Again, an animal not to be fear mongered, not to be afraid of. An animal uh, that deserves respect, deserves space. Um, but again, not something that's out to get you at all. A lot of people don't like wasps, you know, for somewhat based in reason, uh, because a lot of social wasps can be pretty aggressive in defending their nests. But solitary wasps are relatively um, pacifist. <laughs> they do not like confrontation, um, and they will not uh, try to sting you. So, to conclude, apparently the tarantula hawk wasp uh, here in Costa Rica, uh, it's not too bad. At least this species. At least this species. But again, to show you uh, that learning about an animal uh, versus using that animal as um, clout, as a way of attracting attention, um, is not a good thing to do. Um, we, we love working with insects. We love tarantula hawk wasps. Um, we love teaching people about them. This is actually my first tarantula hawk wasp I've seen. So, mm -hmm. so very we're very, very moment. excited. <laughs> Um, and again, thank you, Matthew, for helping me on this Pleasure venture. Pleasure as always. Um, and uh, I guess we'll slap a Band-Aid on because it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> Although a lot of people are afraid of tarantula hawk wasps, they really don't live up to their reputation. They are quite happy living by themselves, flying free, and drinking nectar. Join us next time on Jack's World of Wildlife. We have plenty of exciting things in store.